Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I kept the eyes very soft and the lips kind of soft with a dusty pink color. I think it's a perfect first date look or an everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy and let's just jump into it. So I'm going to start by taking my hair away from my face with a good headband and then I'm going to use some more of the sample Too Faced Hangover Primer that I have and I can't stress how much I love the finish of my foundation with this primer. It's just so moisturizing and it leaves my face so dewy. For foundation, I'm going to be using my favorite drugstore foundation, Maybelline Fit Me, and this time I'm going to be mixing two shades, 120 and 105, because it seems like I'm losing all types of tan. To buff this out, I'm going to use some of my current favorite brushes, and this one is the BH Cosmetics 123. Now moving into concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 15 and I'm going to buff this out using a damp Real Technique sponge. I'm also going to use it on my forehead, middle of my nose and my jaw just to brighten up my complexion. As usual, whatever product is left on my sponge, I'm going to use on my eyelids to prime them for the eyeshadow later. To set everywhere I put the concealer, I'm going to be using the light shade from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche and directly under my eyes I'm going to be using my sponge but to set the rest of the area where I put the concealer, I'm going to be using a brush. I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with my favorite MAC Studio Fix in C3 and a big fluffy brush. I'm also going to be spraying some Dewy Finish Setting Spray by NYX just to melt everything together and make my skin look dewy. Now let's move on to the eye makeup and today I'm going to be playing with the Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced. First color I'm going to grab is Salted Caramel and I can't tell you enough how much I love this color for the crease. I'm just going to keep on going back and forth with this color until I really build it up to the intensity that I like. Then I'm going to go into the color semi sweet, which is kind of a darker brown and I'm going to focus this mainly on the outer V of my eye and bring it a tiny bit like a third into the crease. To pack on the color, I'm using a dense crease brush. And basically all I'm doing for this eye look is I'm intensifying the outer V and then I'm grabbing the previous blending brush and I blend out the harsh edges. Back onto Salted Caramel, I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and run it on my lower lash line. Then I'm grabbing my crease brush and blending this all out. Back into Semi Sweet, I'm gonna tight line the half outer part of my lower lash line. Then back into my blending brush and just blend everything together. For my lip color, I'm going to be using white chocolate on a flat eyeshadow brush. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my Radiant Fine Eyeliner in black and I'm going to create a small wing. Then, of course, accidents happen and I ended up making one thicker than the other, so I had to go into the other eye and fix that there as well. Then I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes and give them a thin coat of mascara because we're gonna be applying falsies later and the mascara I'm gonna use for this one is the Lash Princess by Essence. For false lashes I'm gonna be applying my current obsession and it's the Ardell Demi Wispies. To finish off the eye makeup, I'm going to be applying the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Say Highlight in my waterline. I almost forgot to highlight my inner corner brow bone again, so for this one I'm going to grab a flat eyeshadow brush and some paint truffle. 
Moving on to brows, I'm going to be using my 17 eyebrow pencil in real brown. And then I'm going to set the hairs in place with the Essence Eyebrow Top Coat. And eyebrows all done. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna take the NYX contouring palette and with the lightest brown, I'm gonna contour my cheeks and bronze up my face. Then for blush, I'm gonna pick this peachy pink shade from the Glamorous BH Cosmetics Blush Palette. For highlight, I'm gonna go with the sleek uh, highlighter palette in Solstice and I'm gonna grab this cream yellow shade at the top. I'm also going to be applying this shade on my cupid's bow, bridge and tip of my nose. At first I wanted to use a very cool toned nude liquid lipstick, but then I ended up using the Bietz Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Endora, which is of more of a dusty pink. And that's the whole look completed. It looks very nice and soft and flirty and feminine and girly. And I could go on and on and on. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As for us, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So here's two more videos if you guys want to check them out. The left one is a Grease fashion slash makeup haul. And the right one is a chatty full makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like them.